Hello True Believers, Babbit Only again and doing another Gundam review. I got a bunch of these done the, that I need to do. Here's like a bunch of boxes over here. Like you got Sword Strike. You got uh, a bunch of stuff. So trying to get these out of the way so I could store them and put them in uh, storage. But in the meantime, over here we've got the Fighter AGE-1 Spallow. Here's the box. This is, it's a Daban model. Bootleg, I mean, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's been like five or six years since I bought this. So it's probably a small box like this, anywhere between eight to nine dollars. It's a one 100 scale. Say one 100 scale. And it is a bootleg. And like with all bootlegs, the biggest problem, here's let's take a look at the box look around the box is you're gonna have brittle plastic quality which naturally becomes a problem over time especially as the plastic gets old so as this thing gets older it's you just touch it or look at it or breathe on it it's going to break so i'm not going to do much articulation usually when i'm putting it together that's when i show the articulation but since i already put it together i uh, this is one of the models i put while i was in prison here as you can see some of the dynamic poses but as usual i noticed that uh, the ankle oh yeah it's supposed to be double jointed it looks like so it's supposed to be you're supposed to be able to do more poses with the ankle but I am not going to mess with that. So you can do it on your own if you want. Pick one of these up for eight and nine dollars at the divisor at the divisoria or anywhere online. So first thing we gotta do is uh, after we looked at the box, let's look at the manual. This is what the manual looks like. One one hundred scale Daban. A uh, fighter AGE one Spallow based on the AGE one series. It's supposed to be kid friendly or focused towards younger kids. I don't know, I that's what I just remember or read somewhere that was written, but here's what the manual looks like. Starts out with the body unit. If you wanna see all the different details, you can pause as usual. I apologize ahead of time for the quality of the camera. It's usually good indoors and for close up video like this but for sports or outdoors the lighting kind of gets weird and it gets blurry and you don't get a lot of much detail but uh, like I said I'm trying to raise money for a new camera phone because my phone and my camera were taken by the police and right now I would have to need a hearing to get it released and uh, right now the an order right now especially with that pandemic is time consuming so in the meantime we'll just have to deal with this so here's you know we'll have to use this camera in the meantime here's a and it's, it's doing pretty good it's doing what it's supposed to do i've been able to vlog for the last two and a half months with it so here's more more of the manual instruction manual so here's more of the arm there you go if you want to see every little detail you can pause it here and see how it's mm, what the instruction looks like, but how to put it together. Here's the waste unit. There you go. And I remember putting together, putting this together. It was a lot of fun, but when you're in prison, it's like any, anything to keep your mind occupied is God sent. So I loved it. I love putting it together. And it's a pretty neat design. It's uh, if you're into this ninja sleek, like I said, it's supposed to be double jointed right there. But I wouldn't mess around with it. You can, the cockpit is, you can open it. And what else is over here? Oh, and the, the waist and the leg is supposed to be able to rotate so you get some, some serious dynamic poses with it. And here's some arm vents. And the, the only thing, the only accessory it has is like it's a little, it's got a butter knife. So there's not much to it, as you can see. And it's supposed to be like a ninja close combat style speed. As you can see, it's made for sleekness. It's thin, it's not bulky. So let's take a look at the accessories that come with it. Uh, the main complaint about this is that it's just like lacking accessories. So if you want a lot of accessories, then uh, all you get, you're not gonna get many. These are just like these little hand 
poses. They're not, so they're like little finger poses that you could open hand. So there's a bunch of them over here. And it comes with, with dry rub stickers and then regular stickers and foil stickers. And I didn't put them on because I, I think it looks terrible when you put these on. Some of the foil stickers I put on, but some of them I left off. And I usually just used ones for the eyes, but you can leave them off. It actually looks better. Why would you want to cover up something that is nice? Uh, nice plastic with cheap paper so I, I left most of it on but you could put it on and so you could see what what's available but it's you know you could see the outline of the cheap plastic so when it comes to these knockoffs never use the stickers especially only I will only use it if it's like a water decal but the foil stickers regular plastic stickers forget it and then the foil I think I just use it for the eye and uh, head unit so we'll try to do this in one take so I can upload directly and without any editing from straight from my phone. So let's look at the unit right here itself. So I'm not going to do any poses with it. I think Hero posed it a long time ago when after I finished with it. I think he put the fingers on there. He's kind of like doing a, some kind of sign with it. So this is supposed to be probably from Naruto where they do that two finger sign to do a some kind of genjutsu or some kind of jutsu so as you can see he's got his butter knife it's this green kind of translucent color and it's got the white handle which is kind of weird i mean it, it's okay so the color as you can see it's blue gray white nice color separation you got the i think inside you got the, the weird some weird muzzle hmm. Maybe because, hold on, let me get my tripod. So I can use both hands and try to remember what kind of stuff that was in here. So putting the phone on the tripod, make sure I don't accidentally push the off button. Here we go. So we can take a look at it more closely with both hands. So let's, so this ankle joint is supposed to move. Focus. Yeah, okay, so the, it moves, so it moves that much. So you can get them to stand pretty wide and the feet will stay, still stay pretty flat. Focus you. Like so, and then the knee as usual is double jointed. So that's what it looks like if you want to see what the detail is inside there. It's got this, oh, that's, I think it's supposed to be his weapons or uh, uh, the blade handle, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Probably somebody in the comments will tell me, but this kind of opens up. So it's supposed to be some kind of weapon in there. Maybe like a knee, like he knees you right in the face and then it shoots you at the same time. So it's kind of weird to have some kind of muzzle action there so it's like a knee I'm, I'm, I, ha I haven't seen the series probably they do, it's a maybe a, a ultimate fighter where they do a lot of kneeing and imagine this kneeing right at you and then there's like a business end of a gun right at the same time so that's kind of neat I didn't notice that maybe I did I just didn't remember and here's a, the pretty much the leg design it's got thick got some thick quads here but still sleek looking at the same time so let's get this thing open up so we can see what there is so that's what here's let's finish off with the rest of the leg so this is what the back of the leg looks like there's not much it's pretty much all gray back here and white at the ankles and you can see there's there's there is and there isn't a lot of motion there yeah it can it can rotate as usual there's nothing impeding it from rotating and over here you've got uh, I don't know if these are exhausts it doesn't look like it but you can see it's got a pretty good bend over here and let's see here that's what it looks like in the back so you look at the back here's the back skirts and then here's the a little flip down here where you can keep the sword for his butter knife 
back skirts, your side skirts. I think that I, yeah, there's like a little gray, the gray coming out. That's not a panel lining. I don't, I didn't do too much panel lining while I was in prison. I just, I don't know, I just didn't like it. You could panel line here. Maybe usually, I, I usually use gray when it comes to white. And then some of these dark, the darker colors, I usually use blue. Maybe in the lighter colors, I usually use a lighter color gray. So that's what the waist looks like. And there's, it looks like there's some kind of bend over here also. Some crunch, ab crunch, and then of course it, it twists. Then over here, I don't know if I could get the cockpit up, but there you go. You can see the cockpit there, and there's a pilot in there. Hero really loves opening up the cockpit, looking at the pilot. The problem is if you you can if you bring this out too much, it's gonna break. It's really flimsy right there. Once you try to bring that out, and it's kind of too tight, then boom, broken. So snap that back in there. And there's supposed to be a foil around this. <clears throat> That's why I didn't use it. If you look at it, there's supposed to be a foil around there. And I said, nah, forget it. I don't want to cover up that green plastic. Uh, that green looks better. And same thing with, with the eyes, I think. So, but I know that's that. That's a piece of sticker right there. That black one over his head. Not sure what I do with the eyes, but then here's the face. Look, it's got you. He's got the little red goatee. He's got the so the face looks nice. It's a good design. Here's the back of it. Here's a, I use the foil sticker over there, so not too much gapping. And here in the back, you can see his his uh, spoiler. It's supposed to look looks like a race car spoiler. So that looks pretty good. This is kind of standard in a lot all the AG models. They have this kind of spoiler design and this same type of head but it's the body that or in the same body but it's the arms and the legs that are different so this these uh, batman type of gauntlets open up also that's what it looks like in the back the shoulder i think the shoulder opens too like that so the plastic is pretty tight but pretty brittle so if you move it around too much, it's going to definitely break on you. So I'm pretty much, when I'm handling it, I'm just very tender with it. And I just pose it like that. So here's his knife, here's his, here's his two finger pose. I think Hero put that together when, I, when he first got it. And that's it. There's not much to the accessories. There's not much gimmicks. It's just here, I am. I'm a ninja assassin Gundam mobile suit. And I'm made for speed and close range fighting and kneeing you to the face. And then with a, with a business end over here of some kind of gun in the knee. So that's that. So do I, did I like it? Yeah, I liked it. It's a uh, good value for the money, but you're, if you're looking for accessories, you're not really going to get much. But in terms of posability, it's supposed to be super posable, but I wouldn't be trying that because it's with a, with this thing, but it's so cheap. You could buy two. And if you break a piece, then you just buy another one. If you want to replace that part or you just throw it away <laughs> and uh, just get a, and build a, rebuild a new one it, it's that cheap you can pick one up and divisoria I, I don't know like i said it's been six years ago i don't know if it's still available but this is what it looks like i enjoyed it very much if you like the series then go ahead and pick one up and if you are a hardcore fan then go ahead and buy the original uh, but if you're like me, just kind of casual and just want to dip your foot in the pool and see and get the same experience without for only a third of the cost, for a fraction of the cost, then definitely pick one of these up. You get the same experience, and if you doesn't matter to you if you're a hardcore if you're not a hardcore collector, then this will feel exactly the experience will be just exactly the same. But the disadvantages in terms of the quality of the plastic it's softer it's more brittle at the same time and it'll definitely break on you with too much wear and tear or it'll get worn out and the joints will get loose but 
if you're just like me, if you're just after just assembling it and then just putting it on display afterwards or just putting it in storage or I don't really care what happens to it after this review. Then, I mean, uh, if Quincy wants it, thank you again, Quincy, for the for Heroes football training contribution. So now I'm on my wish list. Like I said, the first thing is camera phone. And for the football fund is Whoppers, training, football boots, and football kits. And the other, the, the one the, on my other wish list that's kind of a want is I... I actually want a one of those electric scooters, but they're I think eight hundred to a thousand dollars for a decent one. Anyway, anyway, something that can carry my my weight. My since speaking of weight, I for the last two and a half years, I I think I've been trying to eat like all the food that I missed out on on the last two and a half months. So my weight is becoming an issue. That's the problem when you when you lose weight because you're you're deprived of food. And you know you just gain it back once you're able to eat food again. But I, like I said, I've been exercising with the, uh, with Hero, but not as much. But I'm I'm eating oh eating more than I'm exercising is my problem. I'm exercising, but I'm eating more than I'm exercising. Well, anyway, that's the review. Let me know what you think. But I liked it. Uh, for the price, I do. For the original, I don't know. You'd have to ask people who bought the original to to let let you know what it's like. But I enjoyed it this much, just as as like as if I put together the original itself. Anyway, this is Bevel Tony. Give it a like. Give it a comment. Give me a, give me a subscribe. And thanks for watching. This is Bevel Tony.